use honest measures. There's an unpublished manuscript on my computer titled, There is a God and you're not it. <laughs> there are about 50 different life events that all end with the idea that we can't figure out God on our own. Look, the Disinformation Governance Board seems to think they can. I once quipped to a Russian, predictions are difficult, especially those about the future. He responded, in the West, you say you can't predict the future. In Russia, we can't predict the past. Well, that's kind of interesting. Here's an example. There's actually a picture of Joseph Stalin standing next to a pair of shoes. The guy in the photo had been declared persona non grata and they photoshopped him out of the picture, but for some reason they just left his shoes. In Russia, they change history. Are they doing the same in the United States by taking down statues? Will we someday deny that slavery existed? Will the Disinformation Governance Board prevent us from talking about it? Look, economics is a social science, and here's how it advances. We start with anecdotes, which are isolated individual events. A researcher puts them together into a case analysis. After a few of these, other researchers do a qualitative analysis, usually followed by a quantitative analysis. See, what I'd like to do is to see some case studies by this disinformation governance board. It'd be interesting to see how they would handle some recent cases of disinformation. One would be the Russian collusion hoax, or the FBI investigating a sitting president or the FBI presenting false claims to judges to gain FISA court warrants. How about claims that Hunter Biden's laptop was Russian disinformation? See, inquiring minds want to know, and it's via case studies that we make progress toward a greater understanding of these concepts.